Being back in Breckenridge, it's my second visit with the National Repertory Orchestra, I think the last was six years ago, is a real treat. Uh, working with young people is a huge inspiration for me. Uh, I didn't work with young people. I was always working with really fine professional orchestras. When I started working with young people, it was an eye-opening and a wonderful education for me because I suddenly realized you can't take everything for granted. I grew up in Manhattan where George Gershwin was living when he wrote Rhapsody in Blue. I've always felt a huge connection with this piece just almost by birthright. I was um, training as a pianist. I've been a pianist since I was five. So I, I picked up the piece myself and I learned it and the first time I played it was actually at Juilliard in, in, in public. The uh, first time I played it was in 1979. So I have a really long connection with the piece. So now to get a chance to do it here in Colorado is, is great. I mean, it's, it's, it's just a joyful piece. And Abram Chase has once said, um, in referring to George Gershwin's piano playing, saying, George is the only person I ever knew who could make a piano laugh, really laugh. And I love that quote because it, it, when you play his music, you realize, okay, there's melancholy as well, but there's such overall joy. I think that's why it's so popular. Everybody wants to feel good, and Gershwin's music makes you feel good.